Willie Casey, thanks for talking to us. Willie, just a little over a week to your fight in the 25th of February. So how's the training going? Yeah, um, training is actually going very well now. Um, our great span, two great span partners in the gym, uh, Matt Gilly and Anthony Kakachi, you know, and they've really brought me on a lot now. They've really had me thinking a lot more. And, and you know, the fitness is just, it's just a natural now, like, you know, and I'm really raving to go now at this stage, right now. It's been, I suppose, just to, to, to go back a little bit, there's, there's kind of big gaps in between your, your fights. You are, you know, you left Alfield, you, saw, you were with Gary Hoyage, you've left Gary now, so it's kind of been stuttering for you. Yeah, well, you know, and, and it, it, it's happening at a bad time as well because things have gone so quiet, like, you know, you need to have some little insurance with you, like, you know, you need to, have to be, little, boxers need to be a little bit more secure nowadays, like, you know, I mean, you know, they have, they have to have someone that's, that's, that has money, to be honest, like, you know, to, that's willing to put on shows and, and to get you out, like, you know, because we need to get out, I, I need to be out, like, you know, and thankfully, you know, Emerald Promotions will have to come on board and we're, we're doing a bit of work together and our, our first show now is on the 25th of February, so hopefully we can continue on that now and, and keep working away with them. Your, your last fight was uh, Daniel Kajau. You, I suppose you stopped him in the eighth round. Um, Kajau had been in with Scott Quigg, Murray, uh, Patrick Hoyland. You, you were the first t to stop him. Are you, are you surprised, kind of, even after that performance, that you know bigger opportunities haven't presented to you? Well, I, I suppose after the performance like that one, like maybe there's no no one wants me. Like you know, what I mean, you know, like you know, I, I put on. I, I'm really very happy with my performance. Like you know, I really adapted to my new training with my new coaches, Paul and Sean McCullough, Like you know, in Belfast. And I, I suppose after that performance, I suppose there's not, there's not many, too many people that would want to jump into, back into the ring with you, regardless of what happened with Reg Regan Doe or not, like, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, so far that there's not much to separate yourself, Carl Frampton, Scott Quigg, considering you're undefeated European champion, you fought for the world title. What do you think is making a difference at the moment? I mean, you know, in terms of Frampton seems to be um, the one they're all talking about. Is it more around publicity than performances? What? what the difference at the moment is is that the boys that are tied up with Sky Sports, Sky Sports are a worldwide uh, broadcaster, and they're boosting up the boys to the last. And so be them, like you know, cause they are good lads, like you know, I mean, it, and they're, they're matching up the two of them, they're pairing off the two of them together, and they're, they're bo and, and, and that's what Sky Sports are doing, like you know, I mean, they're, they're giving, they're, they're putting everything around the two lads because they want to see them fight, like you know, and, and they're two good boys, like you know, I mean, they're, they're really coming on very well, like you know, Scott Quigg, like I mean. He, He's always in, in great nick, like, you know, he never bad mouths everyone, anyone either, like, you know, I never see him bad mouthing anyone. Cal Fanton is really adapting to the pro side, like, I mean, he's really getting in there, and he, he's looking very good in every fight as well, like, you know, so, uh, I suppose that's the difference at the moment, is that I, I don't have any TV at the moment, like, you know, and that's probably mm. the difference, like, you know. And, I mean, down the line, would you be open to, you know, taking a fight against... The, I suppose, why not, like, you know, I mean, like, t the two lads are getting the hype at the moment, like, you know, and... If the two of them do go at it, you know, and um, then, then they're going to be looking for someone else to hype up and to get at it again, like, you know, because this is how you make boxing, this is what the Sky Sports want to do. And, and this is how boxers get exposure and everything else, like, you know, and it's all good for the public, like, you know, so... Well, if you look at the, the lights seem to be doing the wrong thing out the moment, so it's, look, if, when one of them wins or loses, they're, they're going to be looking for someone else to hype up, so mm -hmm. hopefully I'll be on the wing there, like, you know. So just to focus back in on the 25th of this month, you have an opponent, I'm going to let you pronounce oh, his name. Oh, thank God. Finally, we got an opponent, uh, Paul. Paul, I'm going to let you pronounce it. Paul Akamendez, I think he's named it or something. Yeah. I think he's, he's Paul and I, he's... Uh, 12 and 2, I think he is, he's isn't 12 he? and 2, that's what I think. he's uh, 12 and 2, uh, He's he's far good guys. He's only two last no totally took him the distance, beat him over points like you know. So um, he he seems to be a good uh, kind of a like I mean you know, he, he's faced like you know he was pinched in for a fight, and I'm not, I'm not sure if the fight has been called off or whatever. But he he's after getting back in touch with us and he agreed to take the fight. So I, I'm glad now I can relax for the rest of the week knowing, knowing that we have a, a an opponent for the fight and. It kind of, it kind of takes a little bit of pressure off you as well, like, you know what I mean? You've had great difficulty getting an opponent. There's been, like, Ant Cliffy with the box Ant Cliff up until last week. There was another name before that. There was, there was a good few names uh, in the vault, like, you know, there was a good... There was a couple of names. Uh, there was a lot, of, a lot of British guys out there, like, you know, they were having fights or a few of them didn't want to take it or a few of them weren't ready. And then there was the weight issue. None of them wanted to come in under on, on the nine stone limit or whatever. And then... We made allowances. We we would say that we we said that we'll we'll make a we we'll, we'll come up with where we move up to the nine stone and then we couldn't get no one for nine stone. Then and Cliff came in. We said we'll do the nine two or nine four for him. 
and but he put down now because of flu or cold or whatever like you know and so just lucky enough you know it's, it's been very difficult even a decent journey man would have done me you know at this stage to be honest like you know sometimes you can you can bring in someone with a good record that's weak and it might last around or you can bring in a, a good tough journeyman that will take a distance and, and, and give you what you want. I need round under my belt, you know what I mean? You know, I need, need to work on what I'm learning. Mm-hmm. And, and look, thank, thank God now, like, you know, Emerald Promotions have done very well now at the moment. They, they really went out, stuck out the neck for me now, like, you know, and getting an opponent and giving extra money as well just to get an opponent, like, you know, so th- this is the kind of, this is the team you want to be with, like, you know, hopefully they Everything will go well now, like in the show, like you know. Obviously, you're based in Belfast. You're going to fight in Belfast uh, next week. I suppose the question on everybody's lip, lips down south is, you know, the possibilities maybe of Emirates promotions coming back down well, south and doing a show there, maybe. It's be, he actually mentioned this to me already, like you know, I, I'd like to go to Dublin to be honest, like you know, and there's uh, and Limerick as well, like you know, but I think Dublin is a more neutral ground, like you know, especially like if, like I mean, we're up in Belfast and we're, we're getting our own a little bit of crowd up here and. If any promotion come to Dublin, then it'll make it easier for the lights and their support as well to come down to Dublin rather than go moving to Limerick. Mm. But I, I'd like to fight maybe in the stadium so this sometime this year. Like you know, there's a real buzz down there. The great, great support for for the world title fight against Rigado, and I know everyone got a little bit excited, including myself and everyone else. So we all got hyped up over it. And I know maybe it was a little bit of a big letdown for everyone, including myself and Dolphin Promotions and everyone. But I'm back on track now again. Like you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in great shape. Like I mean, I'm, I'm looking after myself a lot more better now. Like you know, and, and hopefully now I can get back onto the big scenes again. Like you know. Okay, we'll, really, we'll, no doubt see you. We'll be up for your show next week, and we'll talk to you after the fight. Oh, well, Thanks, Willie. Really. Right. Thanks. All right.